Back at the main loft now, and I've got my ivermectin dosed out. It's about um, two milliliters of ivermectin to two milliliters of water, and that's going to be for 20 to 40 birds. So I put their bird baths out there, offered them some food, and they are going to jump in those baths. We may be gone by then, but they're going to jump in there and splash around. They're going to drink some of this, and that's fine. I didn't use gloves to handle it because it's not toxic. And that's it. I don't have to do much else. They're gonna jump in there. I'm not gonna stay to watch them, but trust me, you can watch my other bird bath videos. Now you can bathe birds, technically, by holding them in a bucket. Okay, but this way, they're gonna jump in. They're gonna splash around. If I don't see most of the birds in there, I'll give them a spot on treatment. They're gonna drink that water. That's all good. And um, it's gonna be a benefit to them. So uh, that's a little short series for you on ivermectin and now I'm going to go around to the front loft and apply ivermectin to my chickens um, with an uh, undiluted uh, syringe, no sharp, just on the skin, it goes right through and you can come with me and see how I do that. It's easy, you're going to have an easy time of it. It keeps your birds from being itchy. So that's a big plus. Let's go around to the front. So on the way to the front loft, I'm going to get my ivermectin ready for the birds out there. I'm just going to put about, where are we, about a half a milliliter in the spoon, which has a bit of coconut oil on it, still no problem. And I'm just going to suck it up into this other syringe really quick. Actually, yeah, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. Almost. Okay, and then put the air out. I'm going go for a few drops per chicken. Okay, let's get outside. So I'm going to add some to this front bit back. And put it in a place where we may get some good enough customers. And I'm going to grab my rooster now. Here's this chunky little meatball. Okay, so look at his comb. A couple of black spots there. It's an injury probably from some hardware cloth. But you know what? That's where little mites burrow in. So I've got this coconut oil mixed with a little bit of ivermectin. He just loves having his waddle rub and his comb. So that's fine. That is not foul pox check back up on that later. Okay. Just wonder what that noise was. We also have my little rooster. He's so tiny. Look at him. That's a full grown rooster. Just come on. Chill man. Chill. Okay. So the feet. Let's take a look at the feet. The feet look okay. Peeling. I don't see any crusty stuff. You know what? Every chicken loves a foot rub. That's one thing I've learned. Oh yeah, they do. They love that. And pigeons too. Love a foot rub. And you know, eventually I'm going to rub all their feet with this stuff. I'm going to do some banding next week. He had a little injury there. Look at that. But he's okay. Good boy, Zappa. You're such a nice boy. 
while he's here, I'm going to put a spot on behind his neck. He's such a good boy. You're a good boy, Zap. I'm going to just get that ready. Oops. <laughs> and dripping. Let's put a little bit in there. That's a good boy, Zappa. What a nice, what a nice rooster, eh? What a good boy. Look, he's tiny. He's full grown. Bye, Zappa. So I'm going to do that now to the rest of the birds. And thanks for tuning in. I don't think you want to watch this. It's a piece by piece situation. So I want you to check that chemical out. It's so great for your birds and dogs and you. So enjoy that Ivermectin. I-V-E-R-M-E-C-T-I-N. Thanks for joining. Bye for now. Oops. <laughs>